Hey guys, right, on with another little bit on the Enfield. We're plodding along nicely. So today, uh, I'm going to do the exhaust bracket. Now I'm gonna do this slightly different as well. So normally, let's take a look. Normally, the silencer comes, I don't know if you can see that, that strip of steel there, and it's bolted onto this slider, so you can have like, a few different positions in it within, what's that, about two and a half inches. So I've got it in as far as it'll go, because I like it nice and short. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scrap that idea, what I normally use, nothing up with it, I just, I just like to do each one sort of different. So every Enfield that I've done that out that's out there is actually very slightly different. Uh, so this one, I'm going to sort it out and bring the bracket, oh, it's a bit dark in there, isn't it? Off this bottom shoe here that connects to the gearbox. So I'm gonna bring it out across and into that slider on the silencer. So that leaves all this free of no brackets. I think that'll look a lot better. So I'm gonna do a, a bit of a cut out with some cardboard or paper in it first and then do it in a bit of steel. We're gonna go for something fairly strong. This is actually four mil. So we're gonna do it in that. I think that scrappy little piece should be enough. Probably not today, but I've also got to actually look at the size stand as well. Now I've got several size stands knocking about, but I'm actually going to wait. Yeah, I'm going to hold off on that today because I'm off to a auto jumble tomorrow, which is mainly bike stuff really. So I'm going to see if there's any better options there tomorrow. If not, I shall go with something that I've got knocking about and I'm actually probably going to do that a bit different as well. So yeah, let's get on with the exhaust bracket. Okay, sort of scrapping the idea of that chunk there. I'm moving to this. This is just going to be sort of a small part of it. So <laughs> change of mind already, but yeah, yeah, you're all used to that. So I'm going to cut these angles on it. I don't know if you can see that. Cut them first, and then we'll go from there. So, to the grinder. get a glove on before we put that up <laughs> right there's the start of it uh, now for the rest as you can probably guess I'm making this up as we go along sort of to be hmm. well, I need to drill a hole in that first I've got to slice this because I actually want to fold this and it's a bit too thick to do in my folder and slicing halfway through it'll, I'll get a tighter fold on it Do 
I'm not following that angle for a reason. You'll see in a minute. Just to make it a little bit more interesting. Just because it's a bracket doesn't mean it just has to be a ugly folded thing with an hole in it. We can make it slightly better. I think I might go a bit more on that actually. Well, not as much. Let's give that a tap. That's better. Right. I'm going to tack that on there. Then do my other bit. Right, so far we've got that. So I'm just going to weld this across here now and get that dressed up flush. And we've got to trim these angles off. So everything follows each of them, really. Uh, and then we'll figure out the next bit. Excuse my sound today because uh, someone forgot to charge the the microphones up. I don't I don't know who that was. I'll have to have a word with them. Yeah, so the sounds probably not the best today. <laughs> right, next bit. So now we want to come off that. Probably some of you are thinking, why does he need to put that all the way across so it follows that angle? You'll see. <laughs> Next bit, as you can see that line, I want to cut all the way down there. So I'll get that done and then you'll see where we're going next. Okay, so, so far, we've got that. You'll probably see I've got a very slight curve in that bottom bit. There's a reason for that, you'll see in a moment. So next bit. Is that. So I'm going to tack that into place. And then you'll see where we're going. Hopefully this is going to work out all right. I'm just making sure I haven't got a seam in that tube. Because we don't want the seam in the bit that we're going to be left with. It looks like it's seamless, so we should be all right.
we're going to trim it off. That'll do. We'll just weld that on the bike. <laughs> right, bit of cutting. We'll do the long cuts while we've still got that long bit to hold on to and then we'll sever it off. I'm going to cut it just by the weld and then dress it back afterwards. There we go, one bracket. And what I'm gonna do is bolt that to the silencer. I'm not gonna weld it to the uh, the bracket on the bike just yet, because, uh, yeah, that's got a little bit of rust on it and I don't wanna weld it to that because uh, it'll play havoc with the weld. So I shall probably mark it out where it goes and then weld it all on when the bike actually comes apart. But we can get it bolted to the silencer so we can see what it looks like. And it's a little bit different. I know it's sort of under the bike, but you can see it. And uh, we've sort of got a bit of shape in it. And it, uh, it's a bit better than just a, a normal bent bracket with a hole in, I guess. Anyway, let's get it on the silencer and see what it's like. Oh, here we go. Oh, well, you can see that. I say we'll get it all in its proper place when we come to do that bit. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So it be just up a bit. Uh, I shall get it to all propped up and done up where it's got to be before I weld it on. I so say I'm not going to do that just yet until I've cleaned that bracket up a bit that's actually bolted to the gearbox. And then we'll get it all welded up properly. There we go. I think it's a bit better than that. Although, you know, there's nothing up with just the simple bracket I do put on the other, but I have put on the others, but. We're just trying to do some different bits on this one, just so it stands out really from the others. That's if you know you look closely at them to all the individual parts, and you'll you'll see that uh, all the ones I have built are completely different. Well, not completely, just like little bits like that. Yeah, that'll do. <coughs> well, that's another bit done. Uh, I am happy with that. It looks a bit different. Uh, it it will tie up with a few things on the bike, like the bottom bracket on the mug guard and the front bracket we've done in the last video. It's all got a bit of shape to it. So I think these tiny little bits all make a big difference when they're all on the bike. So yeah, I'm happy with that. So I'll call it, well, I'm still gonna carry on, but I'll call it a video on this one. 
Again, thank you all so much, everyone who's bought a special sticker. I'm not 100% sure if some people are getting a bit mixed up with the stickers because I have several stickers on my eBay. It is clearly marked special sticker, the one with, for this bike, and you get a little ticket turn up with that. If you have made the mistake, I have absolutely no problems of giving you a refund if you just bought a normal sticker. No problem with that whatsoever. If you just want to send us a message on eBay and whatever, that's not any bother. If there's a few of you, it might take us a bit of time to get through, but if you think you have made a mistake on that, no problem at all. Uh, what else is there? Thank you again to all the patrons, you know, a massive, massive thank you for that because without you guys, this would be very, very difficult to do because it is a massive help financially for this little channel. And it allows me to spend a bit more time on brackets like this, showing you little ideas that I have. So yeah, big thank you to all you guys, it is, so much appreciated it really is and like i say with your help it really does help keep this going it's it's amazing uh i do get people ask how they can support the channel which you know i'm pretty rubbish at getting back to people's messages so yeah just watching patreon is a massive massive help some people probably don't wish to do that i get that 100 percent i don't like pushing it constantly because it uh, i don't know I, I feel uncomfortable with it uh there's a new thing on youtube now don't ask me how it works because i don't really know uh there's a like a little thing under each video it's called thank you or something apparently that's like a donation button from two pounds or something and that's i think if it's if you like the video you can press that and it does a little donation and it highlights your comment or something not 100 percent sure <laughs> i'll probably have to do a bit of homework on that before i explain it properly i don't know i've no idea it's a new thing so i haven't really looked at it anyway I think that'll do for this one. Uh, tomorrow I'm off to a auto jumble where there's plenty of stands selling plenty of new parts for this sort of thing, like the brake levers and things like that. So I'm going to probably pick up some parts for this tomorrow. Um, I've got a big list somewhere. Where is it? <laughs> I've got got a big list not just for tomorrow but this is my list for Hitchcocks and everything this is I haven't even finished that it's about 50 items on there so far so I'm still adding to that but I'll take that list with me tomorrow because you know it's like you get to places think you can remember everything you want to pick up and completely forget the lot <laughs> so I'll take my list anyway that'll do thank you all for watching thank you all for all the support in any way shape or form it's all appreciated i'm extremely grateful anyway cheers for watching guys take care